Tonight, the story of a Phoenix man who was dying from COVID-19, but now he is virus-free. He is one of the first patients in the country to survive a rare treatment form. Brianna Whitney explains. A special moment with happy tears after weeks of wishing and waiting. I wish I can give you a hug or anything yes. without you. My husband wouldn't be alive today. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. 53 year old Ennis Dedich had come back from his mother's funeral in Bosnia, and after days of small symptoms, he looked at his wife, Oliveira. March 15, he woke me up and he told me that he can't breathe. I had to take him to emergency. He tested positive for COVID-19, and after being on a ventilator for two days, things weren't looking good. Every phone call from the hospital, I was shaking. His health was declining so fast at the hospital that they transferred him here to the John C. Lincoln Medical Center to increase his ventilation. That's when they tried something completely out of the box to see if they could save him. ECMO itself is a pretty rare uh, service that we offer, but when there's nothing else left to help save the patient, this is where we go. Dr. Robert Riley and Dr. Anselmo Garcia with Honor Health are co-directors of the ECMO machine program. The ECMO machine removes blood from a patient's body, pumps oxygen into it, then pumps it back into the body to help the lungs and heart. Ennis was in a coma for 10 days on the ECMO machine and... and on day 11, he did wake up and thankfully that was the case. He was able to FaceTime Oliveira, who hadn't gotten to see her husband. The first time when I have a FaceTime with him, it was... It was crazy. It was really hard. It was really hard. Not only was Ennis the first COVID survivor from ECMO treatment in Arizona, he's also one of the first in the world. As of today, he's breathing on his own and is officially negative for coronavirus. Dr. Riley and Dr. Garcia are now working on a state task force to train other ECMO centers in Arizona, as well as fielding calls from around the country on their success. And for Oliveira, she's so thankful to get to see her husband again soon. I promised the nurses in the ICU that I'm going to bring him because they want to see him 100% recover. Again, that's Brianna Whitney reporting. And some health officials are saying that more research needs to be done on that treatment before it's completely rolled out. It's one tool needed in the fight against virus control.